brother um, i am a medical student brother in your lecture you spoke about several scientific facts are there any facts relating to mathematics in the quran please clarify the sister has posed the question that i have mentioned several scientific facts are there any mathematical facts mentioned in the quran or does this quran speak anything about mathematics yes the quran speaks about several things about mathematics one such law of mathematics which the whole mathematics is actually based on the law of aristotle the excluded middle it says that every proposition every statement can either be true or false and for years everyone followed this law a hundred years ago there was a person who said posed the question that if ev every statement every proposition can either be true or false even this is a statement even this can be false what if this is false the whole mathematics was going to collapse and all the mathematicians got together and they took out a new consensus new theory saying that whenever anyone utilizes a word it can either be used when you use a word you talk about its meaning not the word but when you mention the word you talk about the word not the meaning let me give you an example that if i say that akbar akbar is small meaning why that's right he is a small boy akbar is small no problem but a person who knows arabic he may take objection akbar is not small akbar means great see here i was mentioning the word i was not using the word let me give you an example let's suppose if i say 3 always comes before 4 no one will have any objection 3 always comes before 4 but a skeptic he will tell me no three comes after phone dictionary because t comes after f you think objection that my statement three comes before four is wrong in the dictionary three comes after four because t comes after f now when i was saying three comes before four i was talking about the meaning i was not talking about the mentioning the skeptic who's taking an objection is talking about the mentioning not the meaning so when a word is utilized it can be utilized in two ways either meaning or mentioning during my talk i quote a verse of the quran of surah nisa chapter 4 verse 32 which says afala yadabbarun alquran walau kana min indi ghairi allah la wajadu fi ikhtilafan kathira that do not they consider the quran with k had it been from anyone besides allah there would have been many contradictions meaning wise it's absolutely clear no one has been able to take out a single contradiction so quran is the word of god but there's a skeptic who says that i can take out a contradiction he says where so he says open chapter number 4 verse number 82 the word contradiction is there the word ikhtilaf is there in the quran quran is proved wrong the word ikhtilaf is there in the quran is the author tripping itself i said wait read the full verse it says do not they consider the quran with k had it been from anyone besides allah there would have been many contradiction and the ikhtilafun kasira the word ikhtilaf the word contradiction in the full quran occurs only once so yet even mentioning wise the quran does not trip itself it is safe the word ikhtilaf is only mentioned once and the quran says ikhtilafun kasira many contradiction we are safe and the skeptic will come forward and say okay i agree ikhtilaf is only once but quran says do not they consider the quran with k had it been from anyone besides allah there would have been many contradiction the word many contradiction is there the word ikhtilaf and kathira is there so quran is not from god i know it's a bit difficult to understand but i will give you a simpler example later on it's a bit difficult to understand the wise versa is not always true when the quran says that if the quran would not do not the quran with k had it been from anyone besides allah there would have been contradiction 
the Quran does not say that if there are many contradictions, the, the Quran would have not been from Allah. If the Quran would have mentioned that if there were many contradictions, this book is not from Allah, then the Quran would have been proved wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses words. Because the vice versa need not always be true. Let me give you an example. That suppose if I say that all the, all the people living in Bombay, all the Bombayites, they are Indians. It's a true statement. But the vice versa need not be true. All Indians don't stay in Bombay. Some may stay, some may not. So the rule says the vice versa is not always true. So when Quran says, do not they consider the Quran with care, had it been from anyone besides Allah, it, there would have been many contradictions. So if there are contradictions, it can be from Allah, it cannot be from Allah also. So the Quran does not trip itself. Let me give you a simple example. It's mentioned Surah Mu'minun, chapter number 23, verse number 1, that the true believers are humble in prayers. Now someone will tell me, I know a Muslim who prays five times a day, but he robs, he cheats, there are black sheep in every community. See, the Quran is wrong. Quran says, true believers are humble in prayer. So I say, wait, listen to the words of the Quran. Quran says, true believers are humble in prayer. Quran does not say, all those who are humble in prayer are true believers. If the Quran would have said, all those who are humble in prayer are true believers, <laughs> Quran would have been proved wrong. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the best mathematician. He knows, there are skeptics, who are going to take out fault in the Quran, he chooses the words. I'd like to give one more example. That the Quran mentions for Imran chapter number 3, verse number 59, that the similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is the same as Adam may peace be upon them. He was created from dust and said, be and it was. Meaning wise, we have no objection. Jesus Christ may peace be upon him, Adam may peace be upon him, both were created from dust. Meaning wise, it is absolutely clear but, if you count in the Quran, the word Isa alayhi salam, Isa may peace be upon him, Jesus may peace be upon him, is mentioned 25 times in the full Quran. And if you count, Adam may peace be upon him, even he is mentioned 25 times. So, besides the meaning being same, even the mentioning is same. There are several such examples. In Surah Araf, chapter number 7, Verse number 176, it says that oh, as to those who reject our signs, they are like dogs. The Arabic statement, as to those who reject our signs, is mentioned in the Quran five times. The Arabic word for dog is kalb. Even that is mentioned five times. Besides the meaning being same, even the mentioning is same. Surah Fatih, chapter number 35, verse number 20 says that the darkness is not like light. Arabic word for darkness is zulumat. It is mentioned 23 times in the Quran. The word for light, Arabic word, is nur. It is mentioned 24 times in the Quran. So even besides the meaning being correct, even the mentioning matches that darkness is not like night. 23 is not like 24. So wherever Quran says this is like that, besides the meaning being same, even the mentioning is same. If the Quran says this is not like that, Besides the meaning matching, even the mentioning will not match. And besides this, the Quran is coded so well, it's impossible to make the Quran, even by a computer. The example I gave you of Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 59, he says, the similitude of Jesus, may peace be upon him, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is like Adam, may peace be upon him. He was created from dust, and being it was. Besides both being mentioned 25 times, if you start counting from Surah Fatiha chapter number 1, verse number 1, till Surah Imran chapter number 3, verse number 59, Adam alayhi salam is mentioned the seventh time. Even Isa alayhi salam, from the beginning, till Surah Imran chapter number 3, verse number 59, is mentioned seventh time. So if anyone wants to change the order also, they will not be able to change the order. There are several other mathematical facts, but since it's a question and answer time, I will not be able to throw more light on that.